In this video, we'll be pairing uh, Try Hack Me up against Portswigger Web Academy. Which one is right for you, right? Which one is better, right? Which one is better? That's what a lot of people like probably want to know, right? Now, as always, I would say it depends. It very much depends. They're two different platforms with two different strengths. That's why I think it's important to know you know, be clear on what, what it is that you're looking for. Like, what do you want to learn? What do you want to master? Um, where are you at in your, uh, in your cybersecurity learning journey as well? Definitely important questions and questions I can help you with. If, uh, you decide to join the, uh, the course that I have going on right now, the web application, uh, pen testing fundamentals, we're going to be covering the web app stuff. Most certainly we're going to be exploring, uh, all these web app vulnerabilities, but I'm also going to be helping mentoring you guys and, uh, giving you the most relevant, um, path, you know, the most relevant, um, advice based on you as an individual on what you're interested in, what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, all that stuff. So I just want to segue there a little bit, but which one is right for you? If you're, if you're, um, you know, just out here and you're looking to do, some uh, extra practice, you know, which one should you go with? Uh, I would always recommend for someone completely new, someone who's a complete beginner, to start with Try Hack Me. It's an amazing platform, and I'm really jealous of you guys, to be honest, because I wish that this platform existed when I was first learning this stuff. It, it did not. It really didn't. And, uh, I mean, even to this day, I find myself using the platform. Uh, because if there's something new that I want to learn, a different area uh, that I haven't really explored much of, it's such a great um, beginner resource for it. And not only that, you can learn new stuff too. They're always making new rooms, like really useful rooms. Like for example, one room that I plan on taking uh, here pretty soon. Uh, let me let me pull it up really quick. But yeah, right here, this room, uh, which is a, a tutorial exploring a CVE that was found this year in Sudo, uh, in the Sudo program. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, this involves a uh, heap buffer overflow exploit. Um, I, I think, I could be wrong about that. Don't quote me on that exactly. But uh, yeah, you, you have... Um, you even have like uh, cutting edge stuff on here. Like you can learn about new CVEs in some cases. Uh, I've been, you know, while we're here, let me just, let me just poke around on this for a little bit. Um, I guess I'm not logged in right now, but I can still browse around, right? Like I've been exploring the cyber defense path, honestly, because I'm very much a beginner when it comes to the blue team stuff. And a lot of that stuff is I'm finding pretty interesting, um, particularly uh, personally, I find malware analysis to be really interesting. I'd like to try my hand at, um, you know, since I'm on the red team side and I'm moving to the red team side now, um, trying to, you know, develop malware. So it's pretty cool to look at the defense side of it to see like how they would go about picking it apart, you know, analyzing it dynamically, statically, all that stuff. So that's just some of the stuff that I use the platform for. So what I'm trying to stress here is even if you're not a beginner, this is a fantastic resource. Now, with that being said, this is a all encompassing kind of more broad and general resource. Um, it does get fairly in depth in certain topics though, as well. I will say like, if you look at, you know, the, the web fundamentals, right? We're comparing this to Port Swigger Web Academy, which is only web, right? So let's just compare this, right? It does go pretty, you know, pretty broad, pretty in depth. It covers a lot of different topics here, but when it, when you look at the Port Swigger Web Academy, right? You just can't, you, you can't beat it at what it does. That's what I'll say. Um, this, uh, this thing here, and I, it might require me to log in in order to view the, uh, the topics. See, so we can just view all topics. Oh, okay, cool. We can. I mean, look, this is how many you have. You literally have everything you can think of. And if you seen one of my videos, uh, back in the day, what I mentioned is that this, uh, this course right here, uh, which is free, by the way, completely free, which is pretty insane. But uh, Port Swigger Web Academy is actually based off of, you know, it's written by the same people that wrote um, the book that used to be really popular, the Web Application Hacker's Handbook. That is now this course. So th that's why they haven't updated that book. That has been converted into this course here, or this, uh, not really course, but this resource here, uh, the Port Swigger Web Academy. So it's uh, pretty much the 
resource that web app pen testers use, like people that are in the field doing this stuff every day, they refer to Web Academy all the time because not only does it cover, as you can see, a boatload of topics, but it goes really in depth on them. So um, that is the value of that. So if you are looking to go into the website or if you need to learn something really specific, the way I normally use this is as a reference, right? So if I encounter something, I'm up against something, I can, I can reference this and I can uh, refresh my memory on, okay, these are the different ways that you can uh, exploit this vulnerability or different things to check for, especially uh, like if I'm testing for CSRF and I'm like, okay, they have a token. What are some checks that I can do to make sure that the CSRF token is um, implemented properly and things like that, right? But even if you, maybe you don't have that prerequisite knowledge, it's still good so you don't know anything about CSRF. You know, go and uh, read up on CSRF and uh, do the uh, the rooms, right? But if you're someone completely beginner or if you are not looking to become like a, a web app specialist necessarily, you want to learn more about like the red team stuff. You want to learn more about, um, you know, get better at your CTFs or your binary exploitation or... I mean, for binary exploitation, there's other resources I'd recommend, but they do have some of that on here. But, uh, you know, say you want to learn that, learn some other topic, right? I would say that uh, that's where Try Hack Me really shines. And I'm not saying don't do the web path on here. If you're new, do the web path. It's going to be a um, probably more fun for you, to be honest. This, this platform is really fun. It's really addicting. I ended up doing uh, Try Hack Me every day for about two months and then I just looked up and I was like, oh, I'm like top 2% on this platform. Now, I'm not saying that, oh, yeah, I'm so amazing or anything like that because let's be honest, all the points are is just doing the rooms. They're not hard. But I'm just surprised that I did that much try act me. I just found it really fun. And the people that I talked to, the people that I recommended this to have also echoed that same sentiment of, wow, this platform is actually a lot of fun. And uh, especially if you want to get into the the fun stuff going on on some of these other sites like Hack the Box, but you're a little intimidated by that, you have this as an option to help train you up. Uh, before that was not an option. When I was starting out, it was like, yeah, you either do Hack the Box or uh, have fun uh, not being able to uh, to be a part of the conversation, right? It's like, hey, you better be able to hack your way into the site and uh, get the get these flags without any guidance really other than maybe the retired boxes. And if you're not, if you can't, if you're intimidated, then yeah, it sucks to suck, right? Those were your only options. It was, you know, the try harder mentality, right? And try hack me came along and they said, you know what? Let's maybe we shouldn't just tell, you know, newbies to try harder and uh, be gatekeepers. Maybe we should actually teach them from the ground up. Um, and that's what I'm trying to do with my course as well is teach you guys from the ground up because I really do like that approach and uh, what I'm adding to this is the human element, the uh, individualized element, because these tracks, right? They're, these tracks are good. Don't get me wrong. These are solid tracks, but still they're generalized, right? You know, th this is an overgeneralization, right? An oversimplification, of course, right? Uh, if you want a pathway for you, for your specific interest, right? You're an individual, you know? So you're ideal path probably looks a little bit different than any of these pre-made things, but it's a good place to start. So still, as always, I recommend this platform. For most people, I would recommend if you had to choose between one or the other, first of all, you don't really because this is free and this is like $10 a month, but uh, you know, time's limited. I understand that. So if, you know, given the constraints of time, you had to pick one or the other, I would say pick this unless you're dead set on, you want to get really in depth on web exploitation, you're a pen tester like me, and you need to know all the little nuances as much as you can. I mean, I'm not going to act like I know everything in here. Definitely don't. Uh, no one does really uh, knows the in-depth, ins and outs of everything in security, as I always say. But uh, yeah, if that's your angle, then yeah, spend some time here. But uh, yeah, that's what I would recommend for that. They're both super solid platforms. It just depends on what you're looking for. So hopefully that helps clears it up for you. If you have any questions or just want to start the debate <laughs> down in there in the comment section below, go right for it. And uh, I will see you guys over in these videos if you want to get into some more of the technical content 
and uh, maybe this fired you up. You want to get into the learning right away. Totally understand that. I'll see you guys over in those videos. Thanks for watching.